Okay, I'm back here, folks, with part two. Um, yeah, I basically was almost to the end of part one with 29 minutes. I have 29 minutes on HD, so uh, I apologize for that. But like I said, that's basically what, I mean, I mean to me, that this is basically going to be like a first. You know, a basically a love triangle slash romantic rivalry triangle with April stuck in the middle. And again, like I said, from a historical standpoint when it comes to Ninja Turtles, you pretty much know April ends up with Casey Jones. Everybody knows that. We all know that. That April ends up with Casey Jones. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, folks. Nickelodeon has been known to throw a curveball at time to time, from time to time. The, the one of those studios that will throw you a curveball, something that you wouldn't see coming. They, they've been known to do that. Everybody knows that. Anybody that's watched Nickelodeon since its inception pretty much knows that. So. Don't be surprised if Nickelodeon, who owns the rights to Ninja Turtles, um, don't be surprised if they throw the curveball and go in a different direction. You see, again, from a historical standpoint, you know the obvious choice in a, something like that would be April and Casey, April choosing Casey. But if Nickelodeon, knowing the, I guess you could say, the support that a Donatello April a Donatello April pairing has been getting, and believe it or not, it has been getting a lot of support. They've even acknowledged it themselves. If Nickelodeon knows that, don't be surprised if they throw the curveball and say, okay, April, you're going to choose Donnie. What a surprise that would be, huh? But again, we, we've seen this before in mediums, and every now and then you will get a curveball all thrown at you. Uh, you'll get a curveball thrown at you as a fan, but most of the time you'll get the obvious choice thrown at you. You know, like with Galat with gargoyles, with gargoyles, um, with Disney's gargoyles or gargoyles, if you will. I can't really pronounce it well. Uh, gargoyles. Um, everybody pretty much knew throughout the entire run of the original syndicated version that Goliath and Elisa were going to end up together. And they did. Goliath and, Goliath and Elisa ended up together at the end of Hunter's Moon Part 3. They did. Everybody saw hints of it happening throughout the series, and it finally did. Now you might say, well, wait a minute. That, it wasn't that kind of weird. It's like he's a, a gargoyle who sleeps at night, and she's a human. But again, we saw hints of it happening. If you know what I mean, we saw hints of it happen, of it was that it was going to happen. I mean, there were times, especially in Hunter's Moon, that it looked like Disney was going to throw you that curveball, but they didn't. They didn't throw you that curveball. Instead, they said, "Okay, we're going to put Goliath with Elisa because that's what fans are expecting." And when it comes to Ninja Turtles, it's the same thing. You know, people, there's a lot of fans that would expect April to choose, to a, would expect April to choose Casey Jones because from a historical standpoint, that's the obvious choice. But then again, with what they've been doing with this new incarnation of the Turtles, you know, no now. You don't know. If she's going to choose Casey, or if they're going to throw you that curveball, and she's going to go Donnie's way. You see, you see, the thing is, historically, it's Casey. Now, with Nickelodeon in the mix, and what they've done with this new incarnation, no one really knows. No one really knows. And... To me, again, this is why fans give the show a mixed reaction at times. A lot of long-time fans give it a mixed reaction. Again, they may like it, but they still give it a mixed reaction. I mean, 
Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I like I said in the first video, I think it's good. It's, it's a good show. It's you know, it wouldn't be going for almost. It wouldn't be signed on for three, maybe four seasons, possibly, if it wasn't that good. Good or anything, but yet it is. But again, you know, there's just some things about it that fans will not like. You know, and. Like I said, the teenage teenage incarnations of KC and April and Karai are one of them. And especially the way they treat them lately. They'll have them act lately. Just to them it's not the total. I mean to them it's not April, it's not KC, and in some ways it's not Karai. You know, Karai might be like I said in the first video, you know, Karai might be the better uh, incarnation in some ways in a teen as a teenager that they got being close to her original character of the 2000 series and such, but still, it's like it's they're just not used to seeing her that way. So to me, it's like, so to me, it's like, okay, you did this now, what? you know, now what direction are you going to go in? And again, there are a lot of things that longtime fans and even newer fans are hoping to see happen, but they don't know if it is going to happen. You know, some fans are hoping for Mona Lisa to show up. If Mona Lisa shows up, and in this incarnation she probably gets attracted to Donatello, hey, you might have some friction between her and April, because maybe April will finally admit she's attracted to Donnie in some ways. Which would be strange, but still. And again, you know, you still have the introduction of a teenage Irma and Vern, which again, just like with April and Casey and Karai, people, longtime fans may not be used to seeing as teenagers. So, there's that possibility. And then, of course, what fans are expecting is something else that's been a tradition historically. And historically, that tradition has been April being transformed into some kind of creature. Either through mutation or through mystical uh, amulets, if you will. Mystical amulets or mutation. Something has always happened to April, and it's always been temporary, but something has happened. Let's not forget, second season, the infamous, or the very uh, well-known or infamous Catwoman from Channel 6. You know, she became a cat throughout that entire episode, or majority of it anyway. And then there was like season 4, where she became temporarily a fish woman, with sonar, with Sonar power, with sonar as her power. And then temporarily, and I think the fifth season, she became a wasp. Thanks to Baxter, Baxter Stockman. And then, in Back to the Sewers, she becomes a yin yang monster because she gets possessed by some kind of ring that Casey Jones buys for her as an engagement ring, but ends up being the wrong way, ring that he gets for her. You know what I'm saying? So fans are still expecting that. So fans are still expecting something mutation-wise or transformation-wise to happen to April. Will it happen? Well, maybe, maybe not. The, the point is, folks, the point is, there's a lot of things new fans and long-time fans are hoping to see that might, for long-time fans, might get them to watch more and get to enjoy the show more than they are right now, especially because maybe their uh, dislike for these teenage incarnations and the way they're being written currently. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it's other things they don't like and hoping, and maybe they're hoping there might be something coming down the road that might get them attracted to watching the show and enjoying it more so. But again, it's all, but again, it's, but again, it's just basically things like this. That, fan, that you know, long-time fans are hoping are going to get them out of that mixed reaction bag, or out of that mixed reaction box, and into into a box, into basically enjoying the, and into the box of enjoying this entire series and seeing what it's really about. Again, to me, it's nothing. Nothing's really wrong with it. It's good. It's really good. It can be funny at times. You know, but if this is where you're going with these characters, it's like. You know, I mean, come on, how many, I mean, here's the thing. There's going to be a lot of long-time fans, myself included, they're going to wonder, okay, Nick, 
Okay, Nickelodeon, how long are you going to have April pissed off at the Tunnels? How long are you going to have that happen? You know, till to, to mid-season? Till you do the Christmas special? What? No one really knows. The fact is, these are all these reasons that I've mentioned in the part one and here in part two are why people, why fans still have, why longtime fans still have a mixed reaction to the 2012, to the present, I should say, TMNT incarnation or TMNT cartoon. Why they still have a mixed reaction, whether they like the show and enjoy it or tolerate it when they watch it or enjoy watching it or tolerate watching it or they just don't like it because primarily it's not what they're used to seeing especially with certain characters I don't know but the point is you know this, these are just some of the reasons and these are just my opinions on why I believe these are some of the reasons fans longtime fans like myself have a mixed reaction to the show and, but, and you know what's funny is, you know, even though this show is getting over with the fan base, long, long time, long time, you know, long time fan, which include the long time fans, even though it's getting over with the entire, with the fan base, which includes some of the, a majority of the long, some, if not a majority of the long time fans, what's funny is next year, you've got the live action Ninja Turtles coming out, and that's based more around, based off more around from what I've seen, which is the 80s to 90s cartoon. Go figure. Right? Go figure. Then Nickelodeon's going to do something like that. And that's going to, like I've mentioned before, that's going to, in previous videos I've mentioned before, that's going to confuse a lot of fans as well. So, but to me, I you know, it's just my my personal opinion as a longtime fan that I believe that these are some of the things that I've mentioned that have longtime fans like myself still with a mixed reaction. And unless some things happen down the line in the future that are going to get our attention and make us want to sit down and watch what happens, all I can say is Nickelodeon, you got a good show on your hands, you got an award winner on your hands, a, a, an award winning show on your hands. But the thing is, you're going to have to do more. As a long-time fan, you're going to have to really step up your game. Because, like I said, not a lot of fans are used to seeing April act this way. Not a lot of people are used to seeing Casey this way, or Karai, and possibly Vern and, and Irma. So, but that's all I'm going to say, folks, on this two-part video. Um, I guess you could say updated version of what I said in the eight minute video audio video last night. So uh, uh, take your time in watching these two parts. Let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you all later. God bless and take care.